All right. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakahakudash. Double honors to the Apostle of the LGMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers. Peace and blessing, salutation to the hopeful elect out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity. All right, throughout the four winds in the name of the Howard Bashim Al Shah pushing to get up out of here. Shout out to the hopeful elect, the believers, the listeners that have came back to the obedience. All right, of the Howard Bashim Al Shah. You know, just going to a quick lesson, you know, as I was reading, you know, Colossians, the second chapter this morning. You know, and I got to the sixth verse, six and seven verse, you know, the spirit got on me just to go into a quick lesson. All right. Exhortation for all the believers, man. All right. You brothers, you know, you sisters, you know, they, they truly believe and are sincere. You know, it's important that we constantly involve. All right. Into righteousness, man. You know, constantly conform. All right. To a righteous way of thinking. Have a righteous mindset, man. You know, so. Let's get straight into it. You know, going to Colossians chapter 2, verse 6. Is ye have therefore received your Howard Shah, Hamasiah, the Lord, so walk you in him. Yeah. You know, if you believe, you say, all right, uh, you're a firm believer. You know, be Howard Shah, you believe in the prophecies. You know, you agree, you know, with the doctrine. You're not offending your Howard Shah. You know, it's important that we walk, all right, in him, man. All right. Because there's a lot of people that can agree, you know, but a uh, true repentance, all right. Is an action, man. All right, repentance is a verb, man. You know, so you go into the word walk. All right, in the Greek. Strong's G four thousand forty three. Peripateo. 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 All right. When you go into it, it says Hebrew for to live, to regulate one's life, to conduct one's self, to pass one's life, man. So how you regulate and conduct your your life? All right, should be. In the ways of righteousness according to the scriptures, man. You have to completely forsake that old way of thinking that you have, man. You know, as a man, the way we was taught up, you know, really to worship women, you know, and to give uh, women power over us, you know, to chase material things, you know, what being a man was, was, you know, having a lot of uh, women, having a lot of money, you know, you know, being this tough, you know, as, as far as just, you know, a, a, a bad ass type nigga bad to the bone type mentality not knowing all right what a true man was according to the scriptures man you know being able to stand all right for righteousness in the midst of wickedness man you see that's a man according to the scriptures man you know serving your how about shim out shot not being ashamed all right not being ashamed to be an outcast to this world all right that's true manhood in the scriptures man you know, being firm, how you how you rule your household according to the scriptures, you know, that's being a man, you know, according to the scriptures, man. And women, you know, having the understanding that, you know, uh, uh, you know, women raised in this society, you know, to think that, you know, they're supposed to, you know, dictate what a man does and, you know, feel some certain type of way about a man like they're, they're uh, you know, superior to a man, you know, because this society, you know, really demonize men as being stupid you know like women is the, is the rightful leader you know of the household you know when everyone has their order the man and woman has a has an order and they work together perfectly and complement each other man you see because even your emotions man all right your emotions have to change man you can't be getting mad at the things that you thought was wrong in the world man you know and you come to the truth and you find out you know that, it, that it's not you see, and you can't be, you know, dilly dally, you know, with the things that you have come to learn are wrong, you know, and you still, all right, uh, tied to it, man. You have to walk, all right, in your house, shot, man. You see, so let's go from there. Um, just read down. It says, uh, rooted and built up in him. Established in faith, you know, because we have to come to a point where we have just complete faith in your how about Shima was shot, man. You know, hey, we have to walk by faith and not by sight, man. So we come to the point we're gonna have to be really rooted, man. Because we finna have to make some decisions based on pure faith, man, and nothing else, man. It's not gonna be nothing that we can see. You know, we're gonna be in a situation where we don't see no way out, but we still have to move, all right, and maneuver within faith. So we have to be rooted. You know, and built up and, 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 you know, assured in what we believe in, man, the scriptures say, you know, 
So let's get that. Um, let's get that word rooted. In Greek. Following trying. All right. So let's get that word rooted in the Greek. All right. Strong's G forty four ninety two. All right, it said to cause to strike root, to strengthen with the roots, to render firm, to fix, establish, cause a personal thing to be thoroughly grounded, to become stable, man. Yeah, and that's what we have to be, man. Fully rooted, man. When they come with this mandatory vaccine, we have to be rooted and moved in faith, man. When they come with the chill, we have to be rooted and moved in faith, man. You know? Hey, we have to be completely rooted, man. All right? Ready to die for the testimony of Howard shot, man. But that's going to take us being rooted, you know, completely in what we believe, man. You see? And it says, abounding. It says, as you have been taught. All right? Because, hey, we all been taught these things, man. All right? The knowledge of salvation is being taught every day by the true men of the Lord, man. You know? Start with our apostles and elders of GMS. It says, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Yeah. You know? And being thankful just to be able to understand this ministry, man. You see? Be thankful for that, man. You know, I always thank it. You know, the Wali how about she mouth shot for understanding. You know, especially when you see, all right, the mindset of these people that are in complete darkness, man. People don't have a clue what's going on, man. You know, you can't pour the truth on the majority of our people, man. But the Lord has made uh, made our spirit, you know, um, compatible, you know, with this truth, man. With this understanding, man. You see? Wally, how about she mouth shot for that? You know, this is the last scripture. This is Sirach 17 and 25. And it says, Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer. All right, make thy prayer before his face and offend less. You know, yeah. So return, which is going back to repenting. All right. And forsake thy sins. You know, put off, you know, the former thing. Now we still sin, you know, within this flesh, you know, knowingly, you know, uh, Mostly unknowingly, you see, because there's things that we can't help, you know, like the mixed fabric, you know, working on the Sabbath, you know, there's, there's things that we, that's out of our control, you know, but the things that we can control, like celebrate, you know, these wicked holidays, all right, men getting lined up, all right, uh, 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 committing adultery, you know, those things we can forsake and never do them again, man, you see, those things we can forsake, you see, so we forsake those things, all right, and say we make prayer before his face and offend less, man. Yeah. All right. The, the longer that we're in this ministry, we should be being more and more conformed. All right. To a righteous mindset, man. All right. To a righteous way of being, man. You know, and, and, and it should be it should be coming second nature for us to be righteous, man. You know, we're going to be perfect in the kingdom. You no, know, but we're rehearsing this righteous acts and getting better and better. So we offending less, man. You know, the longer that we in this thing, the less we should be offending, all right, uh, uh, you know, within our day to day, you know, but just wanted to bring that out, you know, Lord willing, you know, it was edifying. Once again, I'm going to give all praise on the glory to you. How about you, my old shop, by Shem and double honors to the apostles and elders, and Mr. Rule well, teach well, being great examples to us, younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations, and hope for lick. Shout out one.